Hello everybody, today we are going to do what is my EDC or what is my everyday carry? What is on my person at work at any given time? So let's get this started. Okay, so the places that I carry stuff on my person is around my neck, on this chest pocket, this pocket, this pocket, and my right pocket. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is empty contents pocket by pocket and we will show you what is in the pockets. So first things first, we will empty this. Just a simple pen. This pen is one of my go-to pens. It's just the Uniball Signo um, in a .7, so um, a little bit fatter. Um, we use pens to write invoices on pretty much every call that we do, so a good pen is nice to have, and that lives right here. Okay, next what I'm gonna go ahead and do is empty out this pocket here, and uh, we will show you what is inside there. Okay, here I have emptied out my left pocket and we are going to start from the left and work our way to the right. So starting here on the left, we have some eye drops. These are just eye drops for me when I um, get dry eyes, uh, especially in this industry, even when you wear uh, safety glasses on your calls, stuff gets in your eye, and especially me being a contact wearer, if anything gets in my eyes, or if my eyes are dry, or the wind's blowing dust around, it can really cause some havoc. So just having some good eye drops on you is a really handy thing. Another thing that I carry on me at all times, not really a specific uh, brand or anything, but some chapstick. With the, dry, with the dryness and the heat that we run into here, some chapstick is really good to have. Okay, next on the list is this pocket knife. This pocket knife is made by CRKT. It is a spring assist knife, um, and I have gone through probably about five or six of these knives, and I keep going back to them, um, mostly because I've lost them before I have worn them out, but I've actually had this one since Christmas now, and it has been going strong. This particular knife is the Hoot and Handy, and it is made by uh, Ken Onion. Uh, if you are familiar with knives, you probably heard that name, name before. One of the reasons that I really enjoy this knife is because it does come sharp enough out of the box to cut hair off of your arm, and as well, it is also super thin. So it you don't really feel it in your pocket, and it uh, just hangs out there, and it's good to have. It's very handy to have a knife in our industry. To fold it up, you just hit this over, and fold it. And it's got a nice little pocket clip that lives in my pocket. Next up we have the Olight M22 Warrior. This light has been with me for a while and it's probably about time for an upgrade. Um, I've gone through a lot of batteries on this. It is a thousand lumen plus light um, and it comes in super handy when you need a good amount of light in a small form factor. So this lives with me at all times as well. But like I said, it is probably time to upgrade. Um, so far I have been an Olight guy. I have had Olight flashlights for uh, probably five or six years now and they have been doing me well. One complaint that I do have about these lights is this magnetic base that they charge off of. If you get any rocks or anything like that, especially climbing under trucks and uh, pulling drive lines out in a rock or something magnet magnetic sticks to this, a lot of times sand and stuff sticks to the magnetic base, it will uh, cause issues with turning it on. It basically shorts it out, I think. So. Um, we'll probably be looking at different alternatives, but this is what I got for now. And last up in my left pocket at this time, but not always because I leave my keys in the car at the at work, but um, just my Ford Fusion keys. I have house key and uh, a gate key, and I also have I also have another house key here, as well as a mini flashlight that is USB rechargeable. This little mini flashlight is nice and small, and it provides actually a lot of light, like 150 lumens of light in this little small form factor. Great to have when walking in a parking lot and you don't have any light at all. It's just good to have. So that's what I got there, and then I have this multi-tool bottle opener, um, hex wrench, um, letter opener, a bunch of little tools on that guy. All right, so now that we've gone through my left pocket, let's go ahead and empty my right pocket. Okay, so in my right pocket at all times, I have an iPhone X. This uh, is a UAG case. It's done me just fine. Um, this is my iPhone screen. It's got a screen protector on it. Nothing special there. Uh, so yeah, iPhone X. Now around my neck, a lot of people have been asking what is around my neck. This is actually a Bluetooth headset that allows me to listen to music and answer phone calls. I don't listen to music a whole lot, uh, but I do answer 
all my phone calls at work through this. It provides a hands-free solution to answering phone calls while going down the road, and it even lets you uh, answer phone calls while you're under a truck, dropping a drive line, or something like that. It allows a hands-free solution, which is key in California because you are not allowed to answer a phone with your hand, um, actually pulling your phone out of your pocket and answering it. You have to have some sort of hands-free device. So this allows me to do that and it's just much more convenient, especially when you're driving stick shift vehicles. Uh, you, all your hands are free, one for steering, one for shifting. You don't have to, um, you don't have to give up any hands for shifting. So that is, what, round, that is what is around my neck. This is an LG headset. It's actually, um, I've had it for two years now and as you can see, we are having some cracking issues. So I have some tape right here holding it together and I also am running into some uh, power failure with this headset. So it's probably time to upgrade it, but it has been a great headset and I will be getting another one if uh, this one decides to die. So next up in my right cargo pocket is the wallet. The wallet carries all my credit cards, cash, uh, ID, everything like that. I'm not gonna show you what's in it, but that is my wallet and that is where it lives. Next up is what is on top of my head. When I'm not wearing a hard hat with the camera on my head, I am always pretty much wearing a hat. Um, a hat is really imperative in the desert for uh, keeping you cool. Uh, so we wear a hat, could be any particular hat. I have probably 50 or 60 hats, uh, but today it was the Performance Motor Oil Plus hat. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty dirty. And then here, I always have a pair of sunglasses with me. This is a pair of Oakley Fuel Cell sunglasses with um, some aftermarket lenses. These are fused lenses, as you can see. And uh, the reason that they are aftermarket is because every two or three months, I have to put new lenses on these due to the nature of our business, dropping it, um, scratching them, anything like that. Once it becomes too bad, we go ahead and replace those lenses uh, for like a fraction of the cost of buying a new pair of sunglasses. So pretty, uh, pretty happy with the fuse lenses and how they've been performing. This particular round around, I went with the uh, like mirror lenses, which I'm liking so far, and they are polarized, which is awesome. All right, so next up is my boots that I wear. These are the Wolverine BOA closure system. These are like the, I believe the oil rigger boots or something like that, but these are uh, available on Amazon if you just type in Wolverine BOA boots these will come up um, but basically the concept of these boots is that they are uh, slip resistant and um, they are non-conductive so if you were to get electrocuted via foot this would not conduct electricity this is a uh, alloy steel toe boot and the cool thing about it is that the BOA closure system is this deal right here. And what this allows you to do is, as you can see, there's no laces. There is actually um, steel corded, um, like basically wire rope here um, that's uh, protected with a rubber lining. And what you can do is you slip your boot on, you hit this in, and you twist to tighten. So that is how you tighten your, tie your shoes essentially. And then to loosen it, you just pull it and you can uh, loosen it up. So this is my second pair of Wolverine BOA boots. The first pair I got about three years out of them and then this, uh, this pair I've probably had two or three months on them. So um, I'm really in love with these boots. These are awesome. Um, I usually walk around the yard with them open so I get good airflow. And then as soon as I go on a call, slap them closed and tighten them down. And it's been going ever since. I love these boots. So that is the boots that I wear. And then last but not least, we have a belt here. I'm always wearing a belt with a uniform shirt tucked into my pants and a belt. This belt is a Carhartt belt. Um, basically what happens is when this belt will wear out, I'll go out and buy another belt. This belt was on sale and uh, it's a Carhartt belt, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're running for a belt. All right, everybody, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video of my everyday carry, my EDC. Uh, I've been getting a few requests for it and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So as as always, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.